Looking for innovations? We're here to make your life easier in the lab. This is another stop on our world tour of innovation. Let's talk about finding pharma frauds with handheld Raman technology. I'm here with Mark Cabell, a key account manager in this area. This is a wonderful product. Tell us all about it. So what we have here is a handheld Raman spectrometer, and it's really used in two application areas. One to detect counterfeits in the pharmaceutical supply chain, as well as to verify the identity of raw materials coming onto a facility, a manufacturing facility. So it's a, it's a really interesting tool and it adds a lot of value to our customers. Tell us about the ease of use and, and what they can really do with it. The instrument's designed to be able to be used by a layperson, someone down on the dock with that doesn't have a spectroscopist background. So what we've actually done is simplified the, the user interface, so they, they run a sample, they can barcode in the, the method ID that they want to run, the LIMS number, the SAP number, uh, the barrel number of, of the actual material, and then they position this, the, the instrument and say go and then immediately they have a verification of, of the, the material. So, so the idea here is that we're replacing a, a test that's a little bit more complicated where we'd actually pull a sample from the incoming receipts, take it up to the analytical lab, do the test there, and then get the result. And what we've done is we've built a tool that can actually do the test right where the raw materials are coming into the facility, and we can actually measure through the packaging material without having to pull a sample, which is a, a huge advantage for, for most organizations. So what we do is, First off, we have to log into the device, and I'm going to log in, log in as, as myself. And then what we have on the device is just a, a few options. So this can be used by a, by a non-trained spectroscopist. And, and so when, when someone uses the device, they can either run a sample, they can do a daily performance test of the instrument, they can sync the information back to a workstation where we generate PDF, JPEG, and text reports that are secure on your server. And then under the tools menu, we do method and user maintenance. But in most cases, what we'll do is we'll run a sample, we'll walk up to our drum, scan the barcode, it's going to actually jump to the method for the material that we want to scan. I'll go ahead and accept that, and then we can also scan in the, the barcode for the, for the sample ID, or the limbs number, or the barrel number. I'm going to go ahead and accept that as well, and then all we have to do is position the instrument and hit go. And because this is a Raman technique, again, we get a, a, a molecular spectra of the material. We compare it in real time to the spectra that's in the device, which is a validated spectra that we've collected of a, a, a reference material. And in about 30 seconds here, we'll have a positive ID for, in this case, sodium bicarb. It's about 30 seconds in this, for this material. It depends on the material. And so basically, in that time period, we were able to prove verify that we have sodium bicarb, just like, we, like it says on the C of A and on our drum, and we go to the next drum, and then we'll sync the inf information back to our, uh, to our server, and then we release this directly into the supply chain. We don't have to quarantine the material, which is an additional cost savings in most, in most cases. Join us again as we bring you new technologies and great ideas for improving your lab. Watch for another progress report on our world tour of innovation.